Hey, it's Lavinia Masters here. And I want to come to you briefly if I know how to do that. But I want to talk about a conversation that we had today. It was very uplifting, very, very fulfilling. I enjoyed it to the fullest because we were coming together to talk about how we can address the trauma of sexual violence. How do we address victims when it comes to servicing them? And how do we educate society and first responders and schools and legislation and everybody when it comes to dealing with sexual assault? Here's a tidbit of advice that I want to give my personal thoughts when I thought about this more and I prayed about it. When we are dressing because we talked about the start by believing. And I gave my whole concept of what start by believing is, of course, is believing that survivor, that victim, that victim inside of that person that's crying out for help. I'm not going to get into that. In my, I'm going to give you a little analogy if I can. And the analogy is like this here. If I come to you and I tell you that there is a monster in my closet and I am afraid... I'm coming to you for help. What are you going to do about that monster in my closet? First of all, if you accept the challenge of listening to me tell you that story, that there's a monster in my closet, and you're going to do whatever I, you can to assist me in my predicament, you're already believing me. Second of all, I need you to catch this. Catch it and don't miss it. I need you to catch the real issue that I'm dealing with now is fear. It's really not you believing me. It's fear. I'm traumatized. I'm so tormented by this monster in this closet that I don't know how to handle it. And I reached out for somebody to help me. Now, the fear is really actually the fear of the unknown because I don't know. It's the unknown for me now because I don't know what can you do about the monster in my closet. What will you do about the monster in my closet? Will you even address the monster in my closet? Will you laugh at me and pretend you're going to help me get the monster out of my closet? Do you have the power to even address the monster in my closet? What is your arsenal? How will you defend me? How will you protect me? These are the questions in my mind, the unknown that I ask myself. When I even address you with the monsters in my closet. My point is, these are the things that we have to think about when we're dealing with victims of sexual assault. We have to think of that fear, that unknown fear. We have to go there. We have to catapult our senses. We have to feel, we have to actually put ourselves in a position to think. Do we have the power to resolve the issues? Do we have the courage to face the monsters? Do we have the compassion to even embrace that victim? Do we have the know-how to how to remove or destroy the monster? These are the questions. Now, the monster is sexual violence, sexual assault. Before I come to you, I gotta have confidence in you. I gotta be confident that you know how to remove my monster. You have the power to make the monster go away. You have the know-how to outwit or, or, or get the monster out or whatever needs to be done. These are the things you have to go into my fear of my unknown. You have to address my monsters. And you have to figure out ways. And you have to prove to me first that you can handle my monsters in my closet. And once you prove that, I think that's the great step and the great beginning of assisting victims of sexual violence. And helping them not only to come to you so you can start by believing but to believe in themselves to start by telling and speaking up about the monsters in their closets be blessed